Hi, my name is Dr. James Church. I'm a professor at Austin Peay State University. We are going to be creating a very simple Hello World application in Visual C++ using Visual Studio Community 2015. Let's get started. I'm assuming that you already have Visual Studio Community installed and that you've got the C++ packages already installed with that community version. Uh, so I'm going to go to start. I'm going to start up Visual Studio 2015 and we're going to wait for Visual Studio 15 to begin. Okay, good. Uh, I'm going to create a new project, so I'm going to click on the new project. It takes a moment. I want to make sure that I have Visual Studio C++, excuse me, I want to make sure that I have Visual C++ selected over here uh, under the, the heading here, and then I want to select New Project, and I want to give my project a name. This is just a Hello World application, so I'm going to make sure that this is a Hello World. I have a place where I always store my uh, Visual Studio projects. It's in my Dropbox folder. Uh, you can modify that if you wish. Uh, let's hit OK. Now an empty uh, C++ project is going to offer you no code. So we're going to be writing all of the code from scratch in this demo. Great. Whenever the, the empty project finally builds, uh, you're going to see a solution explorer over here on your screen, uh, including header files, resource files, and source files. I want to click on the source files folder. I've right clicked on it, and I want to go to add, and I want to go to new item. We're going to create a C++ file, so uh, it gives you the default name source.cpp. I'm going to call this hello world.cpp and it will create the initial C++ file. Notice that there is no content in the file, so I'm going to increase the font size just a little bit there. That's an aesthetic change. And let's begin. So for hello world, we're going to need to include the iostream library. We're going to need to set that the the namespace, uh, the namespace standard, so using namespace standard. Uh, let's start the main, and let's see out to the screen, hello world. And so this is how we properly write hello world to the screen, see out, and the indel at the end just means that we're adding a new line to the end. A lot of textbooks will add a return zero to the end of the code, signifying that that's the last thing you do inside of main. What I like to add is cn.ignore and cn.get. That way the program will pause just before the program concludes. It's something that I add to all, to all of my Windows uh, applications. So I'm going to run my program by clicking the green arrow up here at the top. You'll notice that I typed this out very quickly. I've typed this a number of times because I've taught a number of introductory C++ classes. This tends to be an application that I can uh, belt out in my sleep. So we're going to wait for the program to compile, and it should execute immediately upon hitting that green button up there. Great. And you can see our application is run. We have Hello World displayed to the screen. And if you can get this far, that means you have successfully written a C++ application. Great. Now, if you would like more information and tutorials, 
I'm going to start up Firefox here. Everything on my computer runs a little slower than I would like for it to run. We're going to go to learncpp.com. And learncpp.com has an online book that you can read to get you started with C++ programming. I recommend that you go to chapter 1.1 and begin reading. So, thank you.